Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of J Bros Cooking. And today, we are going to be making French bread pizza. My mom used to make this all the time. All the time. This was something we grew up on. Very simple to make. We're gonna show you two ways. So we're gonna show you the way, one of the ways we grew up on it, and then Joe's kind of, uh, for his family, he's come up with a, it's still French bread pizza, but he's put his own little twist on it. So we're gonna show you both ways. Go over the ingredients real fast. We got sauce. Now, this is our homemade tomato sauce, but this was, we were talking, this is one of the few times my mom would actually sometimes just use a canned sauce just because that's- It was quick and easy. It was quick and easy. We got some mozzarella cheese. Now, again, same thing, quick and easy. This is just the cheap canned cheese. And I had the good stuff and Joe had the good stuff. And we both were like, should we use the good stuff? And then we're like, you know what? This is what we grew up on. This is what we did it as far as with the French bread pizza. So this is just the cheap canned Parmesan cheese. Then we have some pepperoni for toppings. And then um, we do have, this is uh, butter and we have garlic. So we're gonna pull these over here. All right, so I'm just gonna slice this bread to the best of my ability. I'm just letting you slice based on previous videos. You can cut it all the way through or leave it connected. It usually kind of tears apart at some point, but. It's a little easier if it's together. I'm just gonna take some melted butter and I did put a little bit of garlic in here. Just give it a little stir and then just brush it on the bread. So basically your make your version is a little uh, garlic toast. Yeah. Garlic toast French bread pizza. And then the bread we went with today, this was like an Italian herb. So we figured it's pizza, let's give it a try. And Joe said he's had it before. It has a good smell to it, so. And this bread is from Walmart, and I don't know, something about their bread, it's always pretty good. I know I know it's Walmart. And it, but it's it's cheap too. I mean, this it's is like a, a it dollar alone. Is it still a dollar? It's still, still a dollar. dollar. Joe's got the butter on, what's next? I right, just sprinkle a little extra garlic on it. This is garlic powder. And there is a little garlic powder mixed in with the uh, butter too. Just gonna throw it on this pan. And let that toast up in the oven for probably about 10 minutes or so on 350. And away we go. Let's set that timer. We'll go three minutes under, be safe. We don't want to burn our bread. It's not gonna burn. So this guy, we're gonna just fully go ahead and fully assemble. Yeah. But look at those skills. I've eaten a lot of bread in my lifetime. Hit it with some sauce. Do I scoop it or just give it a pour and spread it? What I usually do is like do like Spoonful, 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 spread it, and then if I need to add more. Okay. But I usually stir my sauce before I put it on. This is, this is my sauce. I know it's good and mixed up, Joe. Pepper, you gotta sit directly on my foot. All right, Pepper, you're being good. She never lets it hit the floor. Let's see if she can do it with number two. <laughs> All right, Joe, how was that for sauce? We good enough? Mm. I usually get a little closer to the edges. <sighs> sauce is on. A little of that Parmesan. I say a little, but I like a lot. Cheese. And I'm gonna hit it with some- Some cheese. Some cheese. This is mozzarella, whole milk mozzarella. Whole milk. And my mom did not use whole milk mozzarella. She used the cheapest that she could find in the store. Actually, the whole milk thing is like, I was say, shredded is like new. Yeah, whole you milk. You could get it on a block, but you have not to Not like, even, uh, sometimes, but half the time, the whole milk was like the fresh stuff. Like now you're finally, they're probably coming out with the whole milk. Now you might think Joe's like, oh, he's being a little messy and it's falling on the floor. As it comes to the back, the vacuum cleaner's already back here. Yeah. That is my dog, and yes, she does eat off the floor. I know some people probably don't let their dogs eat off the floor, but. And then I like to take a little bit more garlic, and just not too much, a, long, a little goes a long way. It does. The garlic is so good. All right, and then we're just gonna put the pepperoni on this one. See, then I like to get that full pizza effect. I don't like the pepperonis just laying right on top, so. Just to help them stick. Seven minutes. How are we looking, Joey? Ooh, she's toasting up. She is. 
but probably needs another about three minutes. Another three minutes, get that uh, full 10 minutes that Joe wanted on it. One of the things we're showing you this for today is cheap party food. Yeah, you know, depending where you go, but we got the, we got a loaf of French bread for a dollar. You buy some canned sauce, you're looking at another couple of dollars. You could crank out a yeah, lot of- you could probably feed like 20 people for, for like- 10 bucks, 10 probably. bucks. Probably I mean, 10 bucks. If you really want to feed them, probably like 15, but it, it would definitely be under $20. Great for a party. Pair it with a salad to go with it. And I mean, salad is not expensive. Although, you know, I was reading John the news. John buys a lot of salad. I was reading the news the other day. There was another recall on a salad because of E. coli. And I was just like, this doesn't affect me. All right, timer's going off. Go ahead and pull out our... What time is it, John? It was 10 minutes, like Joe said. All right, so I'm just gonna lift these up real quick. I'm gonna slide these ones right off. And it's hot. Uh, I mean, we have more than one pan. Apparently we don't want to dirty another one, do we, Joey? And then this one's just gonna go in for a few minutes and then we're gonna hit both of them on broil. Start this one like seven minutes. Like seven last minutes, time. I guess, huh? John likes that seven, otherwise he can't sleep at night, so. It's my lucky number. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna let Joe sauce this one. This is his baby. This is how he does it. One scoop, two scoop, three scoop. That's what he told me to do and I didn't do it. I like to see it go all the way to the edges. Oh, look at this guy. It's spreading nicely because you got, it's hot, it's thinning out the stop, sauce. Stop. It's created a crust, so it's not soaking it in like mine did. The butter's helping it spread. Come on, Joe. Joe just loves, he says I love to be right, but. You know what? Sometimes the older brother that started cooking, I mean, I remember I taught Johnny to make a bologna sandwich one time, so. And then nice. after I taught him that, he made like 500,000. All right, it's time for that Parmesan. Little Parmesan cheese going on my toasted garlic, not too heavy. And this is the cheap stuff. All the sawdust and goodies in there, whatever. Yeah. You know, but I, like people that say it tastes like sawdust, I mean, we know it doesn't taste like the good stuff, but Joe's got a wood shop and. I've, yeah, had, I've, had, a, I've had a mouthful of sawdust. <laughs> this tastes better than that. Now you go heavy on your cheese, Joe? I always go heavy on my cheese. So I'll be honest. So we're looking at, cause he already used about half of it. So we're doing about eight ounces of uh, Mott's on uh, both the pizzas. So 16 ounces total. All right, so this one is done now. We're just gonna leave it in, it's still in here. We're just gonna change it to broil now. Get it nice and crispy on top. Hi broil, timer on. We're gonna set it for five minutes. But I'll tell you from experience, you wanna check it often because- You wanna check it. It goes from doing nothing to burnt real fast. So we're gonna pull it out. Nice and toasty. Ooh, looking nice, nice. This is where I told you they usually break apart. Wait a second, wait a second. Oops, oops. There goes John with his spatula skills again. I know, why is it sticking? The whole thing wants to go. The whole thing's gonna go. Why do we use two pans? All right, broiler's on already, and it's hot, because it's already heated up, so. do four minutes this time. All right, our French bread pizza is done. All right, so real simple, you can cut it however you want, but this is how usually I do it. If you're like serving it up at dinner for your family with like a salad or some veggies. Slices. Just go across, get some kitchen shears or a pizza cutter, but it kind of wants to squish it. When you use the pizza cutter, yeah. And then if you're having like a little party and all these people are at your house eating your food for free, I like to do that. Half them? Cut them in half, make like little finger foods. All right, we got our fresh red pizza all cut up. Made ourselves a little parte tray out of it, if you would. Fast and simple. Pretty much anyone can do this. Anyone. I don't care if you've never cooked before, you should be able to do this. Skill level would be zero. zero. All right, let's go in for that taste. I'm gonna taste the regular piece first. Going in, going in. I feel like I've already tried a few pieces. I feel like you have too, Joey. I'm gonna get that one with the garlic butter on it. I'm going. Mm. Is it pizza? No. Is it your traditional pizza? No, it's French bread pizza, but it's so good. It's great for a party. So this is better than most frozen pizzas. It, it tastes better to me than most frozen pizzas. All right, I'm gonna try a piece of Joe's. Joe's? Well, your garlic. I've never, I've never had this one before. Oh, and you're in for a treat. But I've had your garlic toast before and I love Joe's garlic toast. I smell the butter. I smell the garlic. Oh, that's good. The flavor factor on the, the one, the way Joe made it. I mean, it's probably- and My mom probably wouldn't have liked it because like anything Italian, 
if you add like butter into it, you get like kind of, don't put butter on your noodles. Mm -hmm. That's my first time ever having that, that way, the way Joe made it. And I think that's the way I will continue to make it. Both ways are good like, though. But let me tell you a little secret. You gotta use butter. All right guys, so this was French bread pizza. Super simple, super easy. You could add other toppings. You could pair it with a salad. And John uh, has a great salad recipe for you guys. I actually, believe it or not, do have a salad recipe. I've never tried it, but I've used it. <laughs> I've actually, I've used it several times for cooking. Uh, when I catered a few different things and people raved about it. Follow us on social media, J Rose Cooking, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And of course, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell, get those notifications for when our new videos drop. And like we always say, it's always better when you make it yourself. J Bros out. All right, how do we cut this? It's sealed shut. I don't wanna get it open. I saw the other one, it's like over here somewhere. <laughs>